Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to The Cottages. Once again, we're in quarantine. I've lost count of the days. I don't know what day this is. This could be day 22, I'm not sure. But once again, we're in quarantine. So today I'm gonna to make stew conch. Some people say conch stew, stew conch. I grew up saying stew conch. So this recipe is very special to me because it was I was taught by a beautiful lady from West Bay when I was 14 years old how to make Cayman style conch stew. So basically the first thing you do is you have to get your conchs. So as you know, it's still conch season. However, because we're under hard curfew, we can't go in the water, we had to improvise. So this is how we got our conchs today. So we've got our fresh conch from the, from the pool. We have now boiled our conchs. We're gonna make the coconut milk. Now back in the day, we used to get the brown coconuts and we used to husk them and we used to make the coconut milk by grinding it and putting it in either the grinder or the blender to make fresh coconut milk. However, time is of the essence here because we're busy. We are going to use coconut milk out of the can. So we've cut up our conchs. We had about seven conchs. Um, we cut them up bite-sized pieces and we cut up our onion and sweet pepper and we have a few fresh scotch bonnets from our local farmer. I always add a tiny bit of scallion to the coconut milk just to give it a little flavor and a tiny bit of thyme. So we add all the ingredients to the coconut milk and then we boil. Add a little salt and pepper, and a little pepper. Bring it to a boil, and then you simmer for about an hour and a half. So we're back, and we have boiled our conch now for about an hour and a half to two hours. And you know when it's ready, when you see the green pepper, sweet pepper, and your onions slightly disintegrate and sort of blend into your coconut milk. And the next thing you do is your sea pie. Sea pie is super easy. Water, flour, and salt. That's it. Once you, once you mix that together, you roll the pieces between your hand and you make small little pieces of dumpling or sea pie. And then you just add it to the conch and you simply cook it for another 30 minutes, but at this time you have to continuously stir because you don't want the sea pie to stick to the bottom of your pan. 